welcome, welcome. It's day six in our 24 days of tags for this year. And today, something very different. We're going to be playing with a gel plate and some leaves. So whatever leaves, if you can't find any leaves, perhaps there's um, some foliage, some flowers, they'll work just as well. So you can see here, I've got an assortment of tags. I haven't stamped any Merry Christmas or anything on because I thought I'd leave that to your imagination. So really simple tags. And really this series is about giving you some inspiration. And I hope that's what I do here today. So we've got our little gel plate, which is, I think this one is just slightly bigger than my tags. So that's seven and a half centimetres by twelve and a half centimetres. You can see my little tag fits almost on it. I love this little size, but any size will do. You want a few leaves. If you've got a larger gel plate, you'll want more leaves. And then some acrylic paint. The one I'm using here is Tinned Peas from Paparazzi. I love these paints on the gel plate. They dry really quickly, sometimes too quickly, but uh, it means that you can get the task done um, pretty quickly. You'll want a brayer. I love the speedball brayer just because the rubber roller is really quite nice and soft. A couple of sheets of copy paper and then some kind of stencil for the background. You can see here I've got some circles and dots. My favourite stencil for this task is this one look at that it's called totally dotty it's from all and create there i love it it comes in this a4 size but then also a smaller um six inch square size as well so that is literally all we need today to make our tag and it's going to be super quick so give your paint a shake and you're just going to put a tiny bit of paint onto your plate and then just smooth it out. That's it. Rub it off. Let's take our leaves and pop them quickly onto the little plate. Like that. Then I'm going to take my stencil and just pop it over the top, get a piece of copy paper and blot some of that paint off through the dots in the stencil. There you go. Then just take these off and take a print. That is it. Put my little tag down, then quickly Put another piece of copy paper on the top to just smooth it over. And I'm only using copy paper here because the plate is slightly bigger than my tag. So I get paint all over my fingers. Now look at that. Isn't that super fun? Super fun, really quick. Um, if you change the colours up, if you change the foliage... You could get all sorts of different looks, which is what I did here. Look, lighter colour, even lighter and a different stencil in the background. So here are some of the ones that I made earlier. I just love the organic nature of these tags. But I also thought, you know what, why don't I decorate some of them? Put a bit of bling on. So you can still see that variegated foliage in the background with a bit of bling, beads and joy to the world. And then I added this one. This has got glossy accents in the centre of this little frame. I've used gold paint around the edges with some leaves. So have a play. I'd love to see what you make, whether you decorate them or keep them plain. Have fun and I'll be back again tomorrow. Bye for now.